McAdam now tells us that a contract for a 1.4 million US dollar firefighting vessel, which will be stationed at the Demerara Harbor, was awarded. Fire Chief Marlon Gentle described the vessel's construction as a monumental event since the last time Ghana had this type of equipment was in 1978. The vessel, he said, will be constructed by the United Kingdom-based Anglo Co. Limited. One would only see the amount of development that is going on in our waterfronts and also the potential for more port facilities and so on being developed on our waterfront that therefore it heralds the need for this type of equipment so that we could have some sort of port protection for our uh, storages, our wharves, warehouses, and so on on the waterfront. And also, a fireboat is also a very useful piece of equipment for uh, shore support in terms of land-based firefighting operations. The vessel will improve the Ghana Fire Service's marine firefighting and response capability. It will be able to pump in excess of 5,000 gallons of water per minute to support land-based operations also. That uh, vessel we understand will take some time between nine and ten months to uh, complete. In the meantime, uh, the Guyana Fire Service is looking at the other facilities that will have to support this, this vessel in terms of boarding facilities, the staffing to man the, uh, continuously man this, this new piece of equipment. The fire vessel's construction is one of the Guyana Fire Service's major projects being undertaken coming out of the 2017 national budget. Paul McAdam for InfoHub.